Muriatic acid is a great product to have on hand if you have a salt water pool. The main thing that muriatic acid does is lower your pH. So salt water pools tend to have a high pH and by using just a little bit of muriatic acid, it will help to lower your pH. I've been using four ounces of this approximately every week and I have found over the summer it has kept the water in balance. So far I haven't used it in the winter, but I do find that it really helps using this in between using muriatic acid and baking soda to keep your pH and your alkalinity balanced. It seems to help very well. So muriatic acid is a very dangerous chemical. I will admit I was very apprehensive about using this chemical in the beginning. It can burn you. It is very bad to inhale it. It just all around is, in my opinion, one of the probably the, one of the most dangerous chemicals that you use in your pool. Uh, this product I purchased at Home Depot, but I believe it's available in many other places as well. It is supposed to be stored outside. I didn't know this, and I had stored it inside, but thankfully they had never been opened, but I had stored it in an inside storage area. And then I found out that it can actually cause rust to any metal product that it is sitting next to. I think the fumes may also combine with other pool chemicals, so you have to store it outside. So what I do is keep it stored right beside our shed outside. What I do is I get a measuring cup here and I fill it with 12 ounces of pool water and then I will add 4 ounces to make it 16 ounces. It's always recommended to use eye protection, protect your skin by wearing long clothing, wear gloves. For me personally, uh, this is just what I've been doing. It's been working quite well with me. I very, very carefully pour it, the muriatic acid, into that little bit of water, making sure that the fumes of it do not go anywhere near my face. So if there is a wind blowing, make sure the wind is not blowing into your face when you're pouring it in there. Many people just dump this right into the pool, and I think that may be the safer way to do it, but for me, I like to do it this way because that way I'm able to measure exactly how much I'm putting in the pool and it's just worked out quite well for me to do it this way. I'll be honest, I don't wear the glasses or the long sleeves or long pants. I do stick with the gloves. So always make sure your pump is running when you're adding muriatic acid. thing I do is rinse the container with water. Something else you can do is run it at high speed for a short time just to make sure it gets all mixed in. So I'm going to run it at a high speed for a little while. I have a preset speed here that is high speed. So I'm going to let that run for a couple minutes. I wait several hours before swimming after doing this. So I'm finding I have to dump way more muriatic acid than I showed you in the first part of this video, especially as the summer has gone on and it's gotten a lot hotter with the pool temps being above 88 degrees. I'm just finding that it's needing a lot more muriatic acid. So as the bottle has gotten lower, I've just decided to just estimate how much I'm putting in and just dump it right in the pool. So I just hold it pretty low and just dump it right in and just kind of estimate how much I'm putting in. And I put it in in the deep end. In the morning I'm going to check the balance of the pool again. And if more needs to be added, then I'll just work. add. You just need to find out what amount works for your pool. 